If there are two things that I know every time I get a chance to talk to you, it's going to be A, you're wearing a leather jacket, and B, you're winning an award when it comes to Songwriter of the Year. Wow. Well, uh, I guess those are two for certain things. I really should change up the jacket, I guess. Don't you dare. I know. Uh, branding, right? Uh, Santa Claus wears his, you know, red and white outfit. You got to wear the leather jacket. You know, all these cats up at these shows worried about what they're going to wear. I never worry. I just throw this on. Yeah, you keep it real because what real is for you is great music and songwriting, which is why you have that award. Again, congrats on that, man. Thank you. I, uh, I, I... I really appreciate it. It's, it's crazy, man. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just glad to still be in the game and writing music that people seem to be connecting with and and uh, and uh, feeding my family with it. Definitely. Look, I remember when I was chasing you down in L.A. when we were going to do our interview. Uh, when that was the last Blake number one. Yeah, exactly. That was for mine would be you. That's and, right. And, and you still keep getting these awards, man. With so can this, that, whatever. Yeah. Um, is there a secret to your success? Is there? I don't think so. I don't think it's a secret. I think it's just um, I, I get up every day. I, I write a lot. I'm, I'm a big believer in um, it being like 90% perspiration and 10% inspiration. So I get up every day whether I feel like writing a song or not. And honestly, most of the days I don't. There's lots of other things I would rather do, but um, I go to town and I grind it out whether I think I have a good idea or not. And most of what I write doesn't get cut. I mean, that's the thing about songwriters, like 95 or 98 or 99 percent of what we do, no one ever hears. And um, so, but I just keep doing it. I try and I look at songwriters like my co-writer Craig Wiseman, who's had 26 number one songs. And I look at him, uh, his, his model of work ethic, and I just kind of aspire to that. Didn't you just have a recent number one uh, single? I did. I had a, a number one on uh, Jason Aldean uh, called Any Old Barstool yeah, last month. And, and while well, you have all this going on, you're building your dream home now. <laughs> yeah, I am. I am. I was actually on the phone with a contractor today at the hotel. But, uh, yeah, so I, I'm, my wife and I are, are building our home uh, outside of Nashville on some land that I, that I bought uh, uh, since we were in L.A. at the Grammys three years ago. And so I'm just, we're just really enjoying that, enjoying that process. Well, I don't know if enjoying is the right word. It's kind of brutal building a house. But uh, anyway, yeah, I'm doing that. I've got a, a new record, new EP that's getting ready to come out um, this year, hopefully by the fall. So that's, uh, I'm in the studio tweaking mixes and, and stuff on that new music as well as, you know, continuing to write for Jason and Blake and just trying to, trying to do it again. Man, look, if there's one thing I'm so happy about is chasing you down in L.A. And ever since then, man, we've had great interviews. You've had great music. But I've just had the pleasure of being part of this journey that you're on. Thank you so much for letting me be part of it. Oh, thank you, Rudy. Appreciate it, man.